I bet you've all seen the new gameplay reveal for the Illuvium Overworld by now. But what does it mean? Is it means I can speculate on really outlandish and random things for the Illuvium community. And you guys are absolutely going to love this one because I'm going to talk about how, how often you're going to find a, a shiny or a hollow in Illuvium and how much they might be worth on the open market. <laughs> I bet you guys did not see that coming. I know you probably clicked for that because of the title of this video, which is whatever it might be. So how have I done this? Firstly, I've used the frequency of alluvials in the overworld that we could see from that reveal trailer or that gameplay reveal, coupled with some other information that's been revealed to delve into the odds of hollow alluvials. Now, what we saw from that reveal video is that in the starting zone with about 60 seconds roam distance for the player character, we found three stage two lynxes, one single cooker, the one that they caught, eight Carablu and a Caradulo. There was actually Caribou off to the side, not near the pack with the rest of them. Um, and there were three stage two lynx all in completely different locations. They weren't together at all. And of course the cooker that we found, which means there's about Sorry, there was 13 alluvials that were found. Now, what you should know is that the standard odds for a Pokemon Shiny is 1 in 4,096. This number is obviously speculative and the team hasn't decided how rare the Hollows are going to be. But if it were up to me, I would make it the same as the Shiny odds in Pokemon for familiarity and things like that. And as we remember in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee, for any of you that played that game, the ability to reset what's in view was a great way to refresh all of the Pokemon you're coming across and increase your chances of finding a shiny from pure brute force, essentially. If it's one in 4,096 and you can reset 20 Pokemon every two seconds, it takes you X amount of time before you find a shiny, statistically speaking. It might take you twice as long, but then half as long the next time. In the long run, you're going to find it about that amount of time. Now, what that means is using the same logic for the Illuvium Overworld based on that video, we can come to the same conclusion. As you can see right here, the Alluvials uh, are listed right here. Caradulo 1, Cooker 1, Caribou 8, and Lynx 3, meaning that every single one of them probably has an equal chance of being hollow. And we'll talk about Dark Hollow in a minute as well. So how I went through it was like this. The alluvials found I set to 13 for obvious reason, and about the time to find all of these alluvials is about 60 seconds. Okay, which puts the alluvials per hour at 780, which honestly seems quite extreme, but we're going to stick with it for the sake of this video. And then we might mess around with these numbers a little bit as we get towards the end and really start digging deep into it. This means that the alluvials found per dollar. Sorry, so how much each alluvial is worth because you find a certain amount of alluvials. Now you don't capture all of those alluvials, so this isn't a realistic valuation. But for the sake of a hollow odds, since you're only going to capture the hollow, you can essentially find thousands of thousands of alluvials and only capture one. You can spend as long as you want in the overworld. And that's what I'm basing this on. This isn't really value for alluvials, but rather value for hollows in themselves. Stage one cost, I've got it $2. I have no idea what it actually is. No one's told me, I haven't seen anything. I don't know what it is. I've seen some speculation from people in Discord and $2 gets thrown around a lot. So I've used the $2 number here. The time per run in minutes, I've set to 30 minutes. Okay, because that's how much it costs to go into the overworld. Um, it costs $2 to go into the overworld and spend about 30 minutes in there, let's say. And the hollow odds based on this one in 4,096 number, I've set to 0.02%. So the dollars it takes, basically the amount of minutes you need to be in the overworld and so on and so forth, until you find a hollow, assuming there's a finite amount of alluvials in that instance. So say you go in, there's a hundred set alluvials you're going to find. You're not going to refresh them and reset them. It's just going to be those 100. So the dollars until a hollow is found is maybe $21 spent, which actually seems really low in my opinion, but I'm going to delve further into it in a minute. For Dark Hollow odds, I've simply set that as to be four times more difficult, and so they end up at $84. Now, what's really killing me here is the alluvials found and the time period. I'm actually really not sure that this is a fair way to judge. Um, sorry, that this is a fair way to judge the alluvials per hour, 780. If we assume that maybe you can find 100 and 120 alluvials in a run, 
then you'd be able to do that twice in a run, right? So the alluvials per hour, maybe should really be 240, which means the alluvials found 17 cents. The hollow odds are the same and the dollars until a hollow are found is closer to $68, which makes a lot more sense to me. And that being said, it might seem like that's really low, but if 90% of the hollows are Atlas, then it's way, way higher for pretty much every other alluvial because this is on a general hollow basis, not a, you divide it by 150 and you get the cost for an individual alluvial because that hollow alluvial is quite unique as compared to the entire heap. The other thing is the dark hollow odds and the dark hollow turns into $270, which is just really interesting food for thought and really interesting to think about. So if you guys have better numbers than me, if you have better ways of assessing this, then leave a comment down below. This is just how I went about ana analyzing the hollow odds for alluvium. And I hope we get some more details on this soon because I think hollow hunting is going to be a really big deal in the alluvium universe.